Good morning from here, anyway, everyone. Um, I'm here to share kind of a funky, eclectic journal that I made using just leftover papers. I thought I have so many that I've either printed wrong or printed the wrong size that I didn't use. So I thought, why not gather all those up and make a journal, just a random journal for fun. So I did that, and I still have so many papers left, so I'll probably do some more. But this is the first one, and it's just obviously um, a soft cover because it's just a cardstock type cover. And I just tied it together with some sari and some flowers. So, and it's chunky because you can, when you open it, it pops right open. It's just a single signature. And this is the back. And let's get the center so you can see. I love, love, love this image. And I think I I made put it in a smaller journal, and so I made this piece too big, if I recall correctly. So I just added some um, washi tape on the edge and some lace. And I think I'm going to raise this up just a wee bit Let's see if I can adjust it a little better there so opening it up I may um, I probably will put this in my Etsy shop I wasn't going to I made it just for me but um I may just end up selling it anyway. So if you're interested, you can check that out. It won't go in until, um, well, it might be in by the time this video was published. So opening it up, I just have a, I don't remember if this is a sample image, it may be. And um, it's um, one of Tim Holt's frames, which I didn't put the frame over the image, I did the opposite. And then this is an old um, document. Over here, I made a pocket. And this is an old trade card for sewing machines. Actually, pianos and organs and sewing machines. That's interesting. So it slides right in here. And then this is a piece of vellum, and I've attached a copy of this old uh, Valentine. Post journal and some nice light paper. And then this little short page, I just added some lace. And this is just one of the snippety journaling cards that I've made. <clears throat> On this short page, I've just added um, here's another one I didn't use, and then this old book page, and this is an old book page too with music. And just um, <laughs> all fingers. Slips over this page. Like this. And I just added a little paper clip to keep it in place. This is part of a paper bag that um, was sent with something else that I bought. And I just thought it was so neat the way it was done. And I've had it. I'm not knowing what to do with it. And so I stuck it in here and made a pocket. And this is... Um, Copy of an old birthday greeting that I have, and a ledger page. And then over here is a tuck with um, an ID card copy. I think it's, no, it is French. And another envelope that I made into a pocket, so did it made into a pocket. This is an old perfume or lotion label. It is an old one. 
And then I just put this journaling card, which was in, I'm not sure who made this. It wasn't me, I know that. And then this is just a little journey, journaling spot. And this is, the, and this is the, another copy of an old card. And this, this is on vellum. And this is just a from my little flower book that's just I've just put over the top here. And this is um, a piece of I don't know if it's an old document, it's old paper, as you can tell probably. And I've just made a pocket. And this is um some kind of a ticket or, yeah, it looks like a ticket, 1958. They just slide right in here. And then over here, I've made another pocket. This was part of an illustration in the Godey's Lady book and I used the illustration for something else and that was left, so I made it into a pocket. It's a journaling card and some of this beautiful paper. And this is another digital I never used. This, however, is a, a copy of an old card. Come on, get in there. To kind of fiddle that back one in. There it goes. <clears throat> this is part of an envelope, obviously. And here I've clipped in an old book page, and inside here, this is a sample stamp. I've just got some little doodads. There's an old playing card, another piece of that paper, and this is some fabric I've so just glued on. And then I just use this to hold it all together. And then it just clips in. It could go anywhere, actually, in the journal. Another envelope. Partial vellum. And this is um oh it's a stamp from I think it's Diamond Workers Jewelers Jewelers 1916 it looks like and it's a stamp that has it's um looks like this. And she was in a scrapbook, so I just put her back in here. Another old um, document, receipt, copy of uh, some old music. This is from a bird book, another part of an envelope. I guess all the other parts are on the other side of this signature. And this is um this is an old card. Sewing machines. And another old um, image or scrapbook card. There's that one again. I don't think I realized it's in twice. This is from a candy box. They would have been glued on the top of an old candy box. It is old. And then I just embellished with this bit of trim and a little rose and a reward of merit. Writing space. And then this is part a partial of an old card.
on the floral book. I love this paper. I don't know. I don't know if I printed it or I got it. It is a print. I don't know. Yeah, Jester. And I have her there because there's the theater. And these are little tiny copies of large cabinet cards. Of These are actors. And then I've just um, put these little fans, the paper cameo, and I've just reduced it way, way down for the center tie. And there's another shot of her. So I thought these were appropriate for the theater. Going a little faster. Another old Victorian card. Just clipped, paper clipped in. It says Mary on the back. So it must have been for Mary. And this is um, one of these wonderful paper from um, clusters from A Passion for Paper. It makes just great clusters. And a journaling card. Vellum. This is just a paper ruffle. And then you open it up. And this is just um, one of those pieces that was left over. This is from an antique book, and you can see it's needing some tape, which I may do. I probably should, or it's going to just fall apart. Here's part of one of those envelopes. This needs a little piece of tape as well. Organs, I'm gonna leave that out so I remember. And this is from a um, a seed cap, a seed packet. Rest of that music. A copy here of an old candy box. And then over here is a swatch of color that I did because I had this. And then this is a lovely lady, the copy. And this piece from an old um, date book, I guess you would call it. It's French. Oh, is there a year? I thought there was a year. might be hidden there. I just don't want to take the time to look. That just tucks behind there. This is an old scrapbook card. It's a set of, of several. I thought I could do that and it would go with the swatch. This is from an old book. I love this. Another old book page. Another one of those envelopes with an old uh, New Year greeting. This is old. This is a copy of an old um, oh, embryo type, em I believe. I have to get out and look. I'll put that in later. And this is a paper cameo again, all these envelopes. And this is a copy of an old trade card. The color went was the right color. And another card. I've got to fix that too. Like a scrapbook. This is a the front of an old Valentine. That's all I had was the front. So I just tipped it in. And then this is from an old scrapbook. All of this. And then here's another, this is another envelope that, um, I think her, this is a copy. And then inside here you have an old book page and an old mimeograph. Um, copy on onion skin. Yeah. There we go. This 
some lace on here. And then another old card. This is from 1880. It's a little calendar. It is old. And then this is a copy. Oh, I used the paper. This is old paper, and somebody had started a, ske a sketch. This paper was from an old scrapbook. I didn't realize that until I went to put it on here. Here's the rest of that bag, and I just made this into a little tuck. With this old card. You can see there's the rest of it. That was so pretty. And then this, um, I originally had tied on the front, and I decided not to. This is it's huge copy of a hand that I have, and it came out too big, but I thought I could use it with this. I just made, um, put the lace here to make a little tuck for it, and then clipped it in here. And actually, it's probably pull it down because the fingers want to get bent. She fell out when I pulled the paper clip off. This is a copy of an old card that was torn. And this is a copy of a photo booth picture. I probably enlarged too much. It's actually my grandma. This is a copy of an old book page. rest of that document in the front and the back and there you have it my crazy just for fun using just digitals I already had that I never used and um, it was a lot of fun and if you're a journaler you should try it because it's just you don't have any um, expectations you don't have to keep anything in any particular order i mean you still want to put your colors good together but i just grabbed a bunch and that's what i did so thank you for watching and this will probably be in my etsy shop um, by the time this is posted hopefully so um everybody have a good day whatever day you're watching this and thank you so much again. I appreciate all the subscribers and all the comments. And I'll see you soon. Bye.